What, what do you? What are the lessons that you've learned that you're bringing into this next this next step with the company? Oh, that's a good question. It's a good book too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think I learned my first time around in the UFC. I was 25 years old. I was a, I was a bachelor, single man. Um, you know, making a little bit of money and then having to not worry about anybody else necessarily. So it made me kind of like a nomad in the way that I trained, in the way that I lived my life. I would take six weeks to get really focused and in shape for a fight. And then after that, I wouldn't step in the gym, gym for a month or two months. I would be out and partying, living in hotels. Uh, sometimes I wouldn't go home for two, three weeks because I was just enjoying life on a beach somewhere, in a hotel somewhere, you know what I mean? And, yeah, yeah. and, and that, that didn't really, uh, that wasn't very disciplined, that wasn't very focused, you know what I mean? And so then after I would, I would have to come back and I didn't have a fight team around me, I didn't have a head coach around me, I, I controlled my world and, and everything that went on in it, you know? And then after that, I'd get out of shape, I'd be 205 pounds and I'd have to go back and get back in shape and I got better at that like sometimes I would take okay eight weeks towards the end of my career to get ready for a fight and then at, you know at the end nine weeks you know but then having to get out of shape and get back in shape caused me problems and injuries and and here's a story you know that I haven't told very much but I was training for a fight with Mike Swick and before sparring I was up snowboarding and I hit a rail fell off the rail I hurt my back and so four weeks out from the fight I'm training with a hurt back I got you know a bum rib and so I just, I, I thought I was focused, but I wasn't very focused, you know, and, and that caused me my career in the UFC, caused me to lose, caused me some injuries, and, and not only physically, but mentally and spiritually, like that lifestyle of one extreme to the other was just breaking me down, you know? And over time, you know, it broke me down, broke me down to where I wasn't becoming a better man, I wasn't becoming a stronger man, and I wasn't becoming a better martial artist or fighter. Um, so that I took time off, and I had to heal my back, I, I, I had to really reevaluate the way that I lived my life. And in coming back now, I have a fight team around me, that I have a head coach now that it's kind of like looking in the mirror, making sure you're doing right things. I'm married now, my wife really uh, helped me ground myself, right, and, and not be, not, I had to, I had to plant myself somewhere and take care of my wife and be a, be a good man and a good husband, you know, and that really helped me find that discipline in the gyms too, because I was, I was home, I was in the gyms more, I, now I had more to fight for. Then we had a little boy, and having our little boy really took away that selfishness, right? Like now it's not about me fighting, it's not about me becoming the best, it's about being a good example to my son. Being, now I have another son on the way, so it's about being a good example to my sons and being just just uh, being the best I can be and being a good example to them. And it, it just makes me more disciplined, more dedicated to what I do, and a better martial artist. Does that add a little extra motivation? You know, I have a brand new baby boy on the way and everything. I mean, is that a uh, you know, kind of amp you up for this fight, ready to get in there, take care of work, yeah. and get home. Huh? Yeah, I mean, it, it, in a sense, it makes me want the fight to get here. My yeah. wife, she's gonna, she's due any day. I could get a phone call right now that says, "Honey, we're due." She's full term right now, so I might put her into labor on the night of the fight. So, if anything, it just let's get in there, let's get this over with, and let me get home to my family. <laughs>